In this video, we're going to be looking at iMine, which is an interface that Special Effect has developed to allow you to play Minecraft using iGaze. For this video, we'll be using the MyGaze Assistive Eye Tracker. This isn't fully supported by iMine, but we'll show you how to use the software that came with your eye tracker to control the mouse and interact with Minecraft that way. So first, we need to make sure that we're running my gaze eye mouse play. This will allow us to control the mouse by where we look. If this is your first time using this eye tracker, you'll want to go through the calibration procedure. Now we can close the eye mouse play window by looking at the green square at the top. You should now see that the mouse is moving wherever you are looking with your eyes. We're now ready to launch Minecraft. Because iMine uses a modified version of Minecraft, it's important that here we select the Forge option before hitting play. We can now launch iMine. We've already selected the mouse as input, but you can verify this by going into the settings and the pointing and selecting menu. iMine comes with a selection of keyboards of different levels. Today we'll be using the Minecraft intro keyboard which has five large buttons on each page. But for more advanced iGaze users, there are other keyboards available with more functionality. Because we're using mouse input to control the game, we need to make one small change within Minecraft. We go to Mods, select iGaze from the list, Config, basic options, and here we need to turn on Enable Mouse Emulation Compatibility Mode. Let's go back and start a game in Minecraft. The first thing we're going to do in our Minecraft world is to turn on Look with Gaze and look around the world. And as we look around the world, it's going to change our view. If this is your first time playing the game, then this is a good opportunity to ask somebody to use a keyboard to adjust the sensitivity. If it's moving too quickly, press the left arrow key to reduce the sensitivity, or press the right arrow key to increase it. Once you're happy with looking around, we can turn on walking and explore further. This is now going to follow your gaze wherever you look until you turn walking off. Again, if this is your first time playing, you might like to adjust the speed at which it walks. You can do this by using a keyboard, press the up key to increase the speed or the down key to decrease. When you're walking, you'll see that there's a symbol at the top of the screen saying that we're in walking mode. And now let's fly to explore the world. We turn on flying, we see a flying symbol in the top of the screen, and now if we fly into an obstacle such as a hill or a tree, it's going to automatically fly us higher to get over the obstacle. So now I've moved somewhere else in the world and I'm going to do some mining. I'm currently looking around, but I've turned off walk and flying. To mine, we're going to go to the second page and turn on mining. This is now going to keep mining until we turn it off. As you mine deeper into the hill, you'll find it useful to turn on night vision, which allows you to see in the dark. In this cave, I've found a cave spider. Let's go and attack it. Once you've finished playing Minecraft, ask someone with a keyboard to press escape and close Minecraft for you. iMine can be closed by right-clicking on the keyboard interface and selecting Quit. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact Special Effect.